Hello YouTube, Stefan here. Where am I? In an empty world of wool. Yes, I'm gonna build something here. You guessed it. And it's a redstone or command block computer. I'm gonna do this build in episodes because it's rather complex and I tr I'll try to explain how it works as I'm building it. So mm, let's start. let me start thinking and get right into it. So first of all, what is this computer gonna be like? I will try and build it like around the scoreboard of Minecraft because that's um, can already do some kind of mathy stuff with the operations and some kind of logical stuff as well. And I'm gonna build a memory based on this scoreboard uh, <coughs> somehow, addressing like different scoreboard values and such. And this memory together with uh, some redstone contraption that can like do certain operations um, will be interconnected and be like the basic of the computer. And so you can feed a program into the memory and execute this program with the um, CPU. Also the computer needs some kind of user interface uh, so you, you can do really useful stuff with it. What I have in mind is a computer that can execute some kind of things like mini games, something like, I don't know, Snake or Tetris. And for such things you need a decent interface with some way to control such things as games, but also you need a really fast computer. Because, you know, Tetris is uh, pretty easy when it's uh, super slow, as it's Snake at, and so on. And that's the main reason uh, next to that I know how command blocks work but the main reason why I'm interested in building a command block computer is that it's going to be as fast as possible and going to be really useful that way. So I already have made some thoughts about how to do a memory system and I'm not yet finished uh, with that. And um, the scoreboard basically is some kind of table and you like have columns or different objectives and different rows of entries for uh, like fake player names or entities. If you use fake player names you don't need real entities but you need a lot of command blocks basically to access every single um, bit of or, or a byte or value of information you want to store. If you use entities you can um, be a little more compact in your circuit but you use entities and they usually tend to lag I have um, gone so far with my ideas that I um, got a pretty neat, I guess, suggestions for a new feature for uh, the execute command. Um, if you were able to use uh, the usual um, JSON encoding from tell raw, you would be able to do a lot more, like generate commands, even like, for example, um, put some scoreboard values into a um, into other places with entity data commands you generate that way and such. I don't know, I, I like my suggestion so I will quickly promote it here and give you a link here in annotation on the video as well as in the description. Um, you might want to take a look at my suggestion over at Reddit. I mean an upvote is not that useful anymore because it's a, a little bit older entry but if you have context to Mojang, maybe you might uh, send them a message if you like my idea. Anyways, let's move on and I'm gonna try and make a few tests to get something useful done already. So the first concern I'm gonna tackle is um, how to make the computer fast and the, fa the different part about the fast things is like how to make it real fast. You can do multiple commands in one tick. You probably know if you watch my videos. You use these full commands to power a row of command blocks at once and that way you can do a lot in one game tick. Remember um, maybe my game of life simulator that was a pretty complex uh, kind of thing already for um, it like working every step in one game tick but it also lagged a lot and you see if you want to do things fast you, you must be careful not to lag out the game. Anyways, um, so the computer will be like at least one instruction 
per game tick and then to get it faster even more um, maybe that will uh, even be in a future wor version only but um, is like um, I have ideas to either gonna have it do multiple instructions after it each another within the same tick or just to um, create some really complex and useful constructions um, to like make speed the speed the thing just another bit more up but as I'm way better in thinking about things than in actually implementing them sometimes at least I'm uh, gonna try and build like the first component now already and present it to you Okay, now that I've actually done some testing, I found out something pretty cool just now or like a few minutes ago. This is, um, I have this command block here, like it makes say A, and I have this setup that just triggers this stuff. So I trigger it where uh, red wool is, and it makes uh, an A in the chat. I hope you can see that. Maybe I make it a little bit bigger, like that, so you can see it. And if I now, um, the activation, um, the, these both command blocks would trigger in the same take, but this one first, and if I now activate both of these command blocks, it will say B and not A. So uh, the thing is, this command block changes that command block in the same tick but uh, this cha that this change actually applies is something pretty cool I don't know I am um, definitely can use this way of manipulating command blocks just before activating them in a computer because you do much um, many things dependent on each other like if some some value of a previous comp computation uh, like is positive, negative or whatever you do something else and such way I can like really <coughs> get into the do multiple instructions in a single tick kind of directions if you understand what I mean so yeah the second thing that has come to my mind uh, is a way to do a really complex a uh, really compact kind of um, scoreboard to single binary digits conversion and vice versa and uh, I will build that up now so here you go a binary like conversion thingy again um, but this time only three common blocks these those three but you need a little bit of setup you need um, 15 entities I took armor stands here and like give them a few scores um, I give them first of all a score called X which is just the corresponding number to their name so 0 to 15 and then I give them a another score that has, is just the calculated powers of 2 like 2 to the 0, 2 to the fir 1, 2 to the 2, 2 to the 3 and so on so it's 1, 2, 4, 8, 16 and so on as the scores for those armor stands and then what you can do is um, create yourself an input score w in which you can enter um, like an input of for example 5 and you create a um, output score that I call disp for display and um, all I do is <coughs> just first step um, copy the input score in every armor stands display score that's the first step the second step is I um, take the display score of every armor stand and divide by this power of two score of every armor stand and the second, uh, the third part is I just take the display score modulo two, two on every armor stand. And now, if I um, display the display score 
where um, white uh, stands for something like one and black stands for for zero so I have a kind of display representation here I see the display scores of um, the black ones are zero or below and the white ones are one or above I can uh, like get the binary representation of five or let's put that in a, on a clock for any other uh, different input number below about 32,000 I get the binary representation here. How does this um, work exactly? I tried to explain it here with the uh, commands but um, I think I built something to explain you the maths behind this. Just going through the commands here so you can see all of them. Just the details with them um, the scoreboard names and such and circumventing bugs Mojang introduced so anyways I try to explain it here uh, like this these are the armor stands and they have a display score and first of all it's uh, gonna be like set to the input score as I mentioned um, in this case again the input 5 so I have 1 0 one zero in every score here initially and this just takes one command because you can use a selector and just use the operation equals to set for all the armor stands the display score to the input score then secondly I have those values 1, 2, 4, 8, 16 and so on and what I do is for every armor stand I divide their display score by this power of 2 value so this will be divided by 1 this by 2 by 4 by 8 by 16 and in the binary system division by a um, by a power of 2 is just like bit shifting so you just um, shift one digit per power of 2 so this year will be shifted by 0 digits this year by 1 digit to the right like this so it goes that way and it gets truncated at the end and so on this will be sh like shifted by two digits by three digits by four digits and like now the rest is gone the rest is obviously like um, zeros here and uh, this the third step is a modulo by two and that means you like it's like dividing by two and taking the remainder of the division or in binary it's like just dropping everything except the last digit so I just drop all the things to the left and the reason why I have the binary representation here now is just um, geometrically easily explained because I <coughs> like took this this kind of pattern take any blocks this pattern and kind of just rotated it by first shifting um, by 0 by 1 so like this by 2 and so on so that I get got the first digit here the second digit here and the third digit here from the shifting when I drop the rest I just have rotated the first row so yeah graphically I don't know how you could understand this concept and on the reason why you would want to make it this way is just because it's three command blocks and in a computer these three command blocks take up little space and if these three command blocks are like executed because um, uh, it, in the program there was written somewhere that you needed this kind of conversion for example to do like bitwise logic or something like that you can just um, have the thing I had in the beginning and just power a set of command blocks and then as um, the first ones work out what to do next they just set, set the next ones to like those few commands and such way you can like do multiple things in the same tick
okay yeah so you see I have done some thinking about the computer I'm doing some concept work and I hope I can like start real structuring the whole thing in the next episode so goodbye